Good evening guys, uh, welcome to the kitchen drawer. We hold awesome prize drawers for amazing kitchenware. Hope, uh, hope everyone is doing well this evening. If you, uh, if you are watching, please say hi in the comments. As, uh, as our regulars will know, I always love to hear from you guys. And uh, I know that you also quite like having a chat amongst yourselves. So uh, yeah, if you are there, please uh, please jump in the comments and say hello. Uh, first in best dressed, Chris, hello. How are you this evening? Great to see you there. Thanks for joining. Um, speaking of best dressed, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging in December. Uh, hey Laura, hey Nikki. Yeah, love the shirt, of course you do. <laughs> what not to love? Although it is about seven sizes too big for me, but um, we'll, uh, we'll look over that. Hey Megan, thanks for joining this evening. How are you? Hope you're uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good uh, a good Tuesday evening. You can see the uh, the viewer numbers ticking up there, so uh, that's lovely. Great to uh, have a few people jumping on. Hey Daniel, how are you? Hope you're good, mate. Aloha. Yeah, it's not quite an aloha shirt, but it's uh, it's pretty damn close. <laughs> hey Matthew, how are you, mate? Thanks for joining. Hope you're well. Hey Kelly, hey Samantha, great to see all you guys here with us this evening. Uh, right, we've got four drawers to do this evening, so I won't mess around too long because it's uh, one more than we usually do. Um, we, it's a bit annoying, my printer's broken, well it's not broken, I'm out of ink at the moment, so things that I would usually print off I'm having to do by hand, so I've um, got some hand notes here. Look. Um, First up, before we jump into the drawers, um, quick update on trees. As you guys know, we plant a tree for every order that's placed on the website. Um, one of my little uh, little things that I love doing as part of the kitchen drawer. And as of this evening, we have planted 1,127 trees, um, which is awesome. And that's all down to you guys. So every time you guys place an order, we plant a tree and we're well over 1,000 now, or over 1,100 even. Uh, so pretty pretty chuffed with that and uh, yeah looking forward to seeing that number grow of course Hi Sandy. Hi Susan. Great to see you guys here. Thanks for joining. Yeah, you almost missed the uh, Almost missed the draw and almost missed the tree count Susan uh, Right here. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the trees um, As I said, we've got four prizes that we need to draw this evening. So let's make a start on those find out who our four lucky winners are this evening and then of course as usual we'll uh, give you um, a view of the prizes that we're going to be launching tomorrow for the next week's draws all those trees that is fantastic sandy i certainly think so um out, out the front of my house there's a, a row of old oak trees and yesterday i put up some bird feeders out there and quite excited this morning just sort of looking out the window and watching the the birds already taking advantage of those. A uh, bit of a tree and bird nerd here. Hey Debbie, hey Maureen. Great to see you guys here. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Good luck to everyone. Absolutely, Maureen. Uh, that's what I should be saying. Good luck to everyone. Thank you everyone who has entered and good luck to all of you. Right, let's make a start guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pop my tablet down there for a moment. So the first prize that we're drawing tonight is the Arthur Price 76 piece cutlery set um, some really beautiful cutlery look it's um it's modern it's classic it's simple um, it'll go pretty well in almost any dining room i'd imagine 76 pieces so it's got enough to uh to, to have eight play settings knives forks spoons more knives more forks more spoons teaspoons uh, some serving cutlery as well so uh really nice um really nice cutlery set from arthur price who's a, uh, a british brand they've been around since 1902 um, so they're going strong hopefully the kitchen drawer is also going strong after 120 years um, let's check how many entries did we have yes yeah, so we had 170 tickets available for this and we received 66 entries um, so I didn't quite get halfway there on the entries so it may take us a while to find a winner but we will find a winner let me switch the view over so you can see the screen behind me a little bit better I'm actually also going to just lay this down because it won't stand up particularly well by itself and I don't want it falling over mid-draw. 
so you guys can see the screen behind me a bit better now. I've also made uh, myself a little bit bigger in the corner um, just so that you don't get withdrawal symptoms from my face and my shirt. Uh, yeah, so the cutlery set, 150 entries available. As you can see, we received 66 entries. Let's have a quick look down that entry list so that everyone who's entered can see their name there. <clears throat> a few gaps, obviously, because we only did get the 66 entries. Uh, lots of familiar names popping up. And as usual, a few new ones coming through as well. So great to see the, uh, the returners and great to see the newbies in there too. So there's the 66 entries. Um, for those of you who haven't joined us before, we do use Google Random Number Generator um, to pick our winners. So what we're going to do is put the full range of entries in there. 1 to 150. We have to do the full range because, of course, those tickets that are allocated randomly could fall anywhere within that 1 to 150 range. If we do end up picking a number that doesn't have a name against it, we'll just re-roll the random number generator and we'll keep doing that until we find ourselves a winner. And, uh, yeah, builds up a little bit of suspense and tension. Hey there, Nicola. Great tits indeed, Kelly. Great tits. That's what I've been watching all morning. Sam, why thank you. Blue tits in this weather. <laughs> A few blue tits out there as well, actually. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck to everyone who has entered for the Arthur Price 76 piece cutlery set. Uh, we had 66 entries. We're going to roll the random number generator and see who our first winner of the evening is. Little drum roll if you're that way inclined. And we'll click generate. And the winning number is 137. The 137 for the cutlery set. Let's have a gander and see if we've got ourselves a winner first time round. <clears throat> 137 near the bottom. 137 is a gap in the entries. Uh, we do not have a name against 137. So we'll roll it again and uh, see if we get a winner second time round. Very short roll there, 141. We can already see it on the screen and we can already also see that it doesn't have a num name against the number. 141, 141 on the list here, no name. Didn't get allocated amongst the 66 entries. So we'll roll it again. Third time's a charm, hopefully. 110, 110 for the Arthur Price Cutlery set. Let's have a look. Do we have ourselves a winner? We don't, we've got names either side of it, 110. Another gap in the entry list, the name's either side of it. So uh, J Boswell and S Quirk, uh, apologies, but uh, not quite close enough. We'll, uh, we'll roll it again and, uh, and we'll keep going until we do find ourselves a winner. This time it's 73. 73 for the random number generator. If you don't want the cutlery, you can always use it as a mouse mat. <laughs> yeah, I can indeed, it's quite a big one. Um, 73 for the random number, uh, from the random number generator for the mouse pad slash cutlery set. Uh, don't worry, I promise I'm not damaging the box if you, if you do happen to be the winner. 73, do we have a winner? We do indeed. They won last week and they've won with us again this week. First time we've done a draw tonight. 73, T Gallagher from North Yorkshire. Quick check up there, 73, 73 on the list. T Gallagher from North Yorkshire. I think this is your fourth win. Pretty sure this is the fourth time you've won. Your numbers are certainly coming in. Um, congratulations, you won a cutlery set. So hopefully you have eight people around for Christmas um, and you've got some brand new cutlery to, uh, to serve your Christmas dinner to them all with. Let's get those details popped in there. If you are watching, uh, as always, love to see a celebration in the comments in the chat. Um, so do feel free to uh, pop your head up and uh, give us a, a whoop whoop if you did win. There we go, 73. T. Gallagher from North Yorkshire, congratulations. The mouse pad or the cutlery set, whichever you prefer to call it, is all yours. There they are, Tracy Gallagher. So sorry, guys. I'm sure you're very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done on the, uh, on the win there. And yes, you've now got the poshest price uh, mouse, mouse pad on the street. Uh, let's get this out of the way because it is a big box. And it's also a tongue twister for me, apparently. Uh, let's pop that down there. 
So provided my printer ink arrives tomorrow, which it's supposed to, um, we'll get that couriered to you tomorrow. Obviously I'll be in touch as usual, confirm your delivery details. Once we've done that, we'll get the couriers booked. I can't print the courier labels without the ink though. I ordered it a week ago, hoping it arrives tomorrow. Um, the, every time I say we confirm your delivery details um, after the draw, just the reason we do that is obviously, I know that you've got um, addresses in your accounts, um, but we just want to make sure that we're sending stuff to the right address. We don't want to take it for granted that the address on someone's account is the one that they want the, uh, the prize sent to. So that's why we always check what the, um, what the delivery address is. Okie dokie, let's move on to draw number two. Now, got a bit of stick for the way I was saying this last week. I don't know if it's Dexam, I don't know if it's Dexam. Let's go with Dexam, because when I was saying Dexam, people were laughing at me. Um, the Dexam four-piece stainless, se stainless steel saucepan set. Uh, you get a 16, 18, 20, you get a 14, a 16, an 18, and a 20 centimeter saucepan all stainless steel, all come with the lid. They can all be used in the oven, on electric hobs, on gas hobs, on induction hobs. Pretty simple, um, but pretty elegant, um, and will look good in pretty much any kitchen, I imagine. So for the saucepan set, we had 150 entries available, and we received 63 entries. Um, so similar to the last draw, didn't quite make it to the halfway mark. Just gonna take a quick look at the comments there. Got some whoops, we got some drum rolls from earlier. Thanks for the drum roll, Kelly. Uh, who else have we got? Anyone else popping up I haven't said hi to yet? Sorry, not sorry, congrats, yeah, indeed, indeed. Dixon, excuse me, Laura Dawn, outrageous. Taking, taking the mickey out of my accent. So the Dixon <laughs> saucepan set. 150 entries available, 63 entries received. Let's have a quick look down the entry list. Uh, if you have entered, you can spot your name in there. Uh, I do usually mention if you're not sure what your uh, ticket numbers are and you want to know, you can find them in your account on the website or you can find them in the confirmation email that you received when you paid for your entries. So there we are. Goes up to 150, 63 of those have names against them. Uh, and we will again use the random number generator to find ourselves a winner. Let's reset the random number generator. The range one to 150. Okie dokie, so one to 150 on the random number generator for the Dixon saucepan set. Let's see if we can find ourselves a winner first time around this time. Good luck to everyone that's entered. Little drum roll in the comments if you're that way inclined. And the winning entry is 69 for the Dixon saucepan set. 69. Let's see if we've got ourselves a winner. 69. Do we have a name? We do indeed. I've seen them in the chat. Uh, they're pretty active in the chat tonight. 69. 69. G. Callot from Lancashire. G. Callot from Lancashire, congratulations. These are now yours. Uh, we will confirm your delivery details after the drawers and get those couriered off to you just as soon as the printer ink arrives, which I'm hoping is tomorrow. Uh, let's get your details plugged in there. I'm pretty sure you're there in the chat. Let's uh, jump back up. Let's just scroll that back down again. 69, winning entry, 69, and the winning name, G. Callet, do uh, give yourself a little pat on the back and a uh, pop a bottle of bubbly in the chat. And uh, yeah, congratulations to you. That's your second win, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe you've also won with us in the past. I can't remember what it was. It was about four weeks ago now, though, from memory. Boom, I got two mouse mats. You do indeed have two mouse mats. In fact, you could probably uh, tear the boxes up and, uh, you know, there's your Christmas present sorted for the year. Mouse mats for everyone. Hey Fiona, thanks for joining. Hey Jonathan, great to see you guys all. Fabulous accent. Oh, thanks Sandy. I'm glad someone likes it. <laughs> it's the butt of many jokes. Um, great. Awesome work, guys. Uh, thank you.
for entering. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Graham. Uh, we'll get those sent off to you ASAP. Let's pop those down there as well. Oh. Uh, what is draw number three? No, used to doing four draws. Air fryer. Of course it is. Let's get the mouse out of the way. As always, the uh, the most popular prize of the evening. Everyone is uh, everyone's all over the air fryers at the moment. I'm going to use it as a mouse pad. Uh, 150 total entries available for the TFL Actify Genius XL, and we received 84. This was the most popular draw of the week. Uh, we did sell over half the tickets, which uh, obviously makes me happy. Um, let's first of all just reset the random number generator, and then we'll take a quick look at that entry list. Reset that to zero, and then pop in our range there, one to 150. That's 450. That's why it always pays to double check, 1 to 150. Right, but before we roll the random number generator, let's see our entry list, because uh, I know it's always nice uh, if you can spot your name in there. Uh, do a bit of a scroll down for you guys. 84 entries from the 150 that were available. A few big gaps in there. Uh, but as always, we will uh, we'll go until we find ourselves a winner. Spread all across the country as well, so what we'd love to see, a few Essex. A few North, Sh North Yorkshire, definitely got a North Yorkshire bubble going on and a bit of an Essex bubble going on. Uh, but we also have some entries scattered throughout the rest of the UK as well. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, 84 entries for the Active Fry Genius. Let us roll the random number generator and see who's taking this home. Good luck to everyone that's entered. And the winning entry is 80. Ticket number 80 for the TFL Actifry Genius XL. They do make the names long for some of these things. I wonder what the next model is going to be. It's actually TFL Actifry Genius XL 2 and 1 is the, uh, the full name. Uh, number 80 for the win, and it is not a winning ticket. We do not have a name against number 80. So we'll roll it again and uh, see if we've got to win a second time round. Everyone gets another chance if they've entered. Pretty happy about that. 132 is the next number that we've rolled. 132 for the air fryer. We've got a name. Oops, I've scrolled down too far. 132. Uh, first time winner, I believe. Don't think this name's come up before. 132 on the random number generator. 132 on the entry list. L Rhodes uh, from the North Yorkshire bubble. Al Rhodes, uh, you have won yourself an air fryer. Congratulations. That should get to you in time for Christmas and uh, yeah, hopefully be a massive help with your Christmas dinner prep. Um, don't think I've seen an Al Rhodes pop up in the chat, but if you are here, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to see you celebrate your win. Let's get those details popped in there just while we, uh, while we wait. Let's get the mouse out of the way so you can see that I'm doing that. Uh, Al Rhodes. L Rhodes, L Rhodes, 132, 132. Congratulations, you won an air fryer. Let's have a look, see if we've got a winner in the chat. See lots of fingers crossed for the air fryer. Maureen, maybe next week, I'll be a bit lucky next week. Yeah, fingers crossed for you, Maureen. Fingers crossed, your number will come in one day. I, I really do hope. <laughs> Come on the air fry. Congratulations everyone. Leopold says hi. Hey Harriet and hey Leopold. Hope you guys are doing well. Nice Christmas shirt. Thank you. Harriet and Leopold have joined us all the way from New Zealand guys. So uh, don't be making fun of the New Zealand accent or you might, uh, you might offend more than just me. Uh, <laughs> well done Lou. Well done. Cool. I mean jealous. <laughs> yeah. Jealous of the air fryer. Cool, so yeah, that is draw number three for the evening. Let's move on to draw number four. Oh, let's get this huge mouse pad off the desk, pop it down here. And the final draw, which, um, interesting one this one. So I thought this would be a little bit more popular, but um, it wasn't, which is fine. Um, I do suspect 
and feel free to tell me in the comments if this is the case, that it might have been the colour which threw people off entering this one. Um, so this is the KitchenAid small appliance bundle. Um, three small appliances there. Um, as you can see, we've got the corded hand blender, we've got the food chopper, the mini food chopper, uh, basically a food pro mini food processor, um, and the nine speed hand mixer, all in uh, this almond cream color. Uh, we had 150 entries available, and we received 52. So yeah, the, the least popular of the prizes this week. Um, surprised me a little bit, thought it might be a bit more popular, especially with the, um, the KitchenAid brand. Um, maybe people just don't need, um, you know, three, I guess, fairly similar appliances. Maybe it's the color. Um, if there was, a, you know, if it caught your eye and you didn't enter, and that was for a reason, do let me know in the chat, because uh, I'd love to know. Obviously, don't want to be running drawers for uh, prizes that people aren't really interested in. Um, so if it was just a color thing, that's fine. We'll find new colors next time, or if actually it's the appliances themselves, always good to know, and we'll uh, make sure we pick something a bit different next time. In fact, let me grab my tablet so I can have a look at those comments if any uh, do come in. Forgot my tickets for the small appliance bundle. Oh no, Sam. Oh, gutted. Well, maybe we'll run it again. Uh, we'll see what people say um, about whether it's something they're, uh, they're interested in or not. So let's, uh, where can I put this? I need another table really to pop this on. Uh, actually, you know what, it's got a little stand. I'll just pop it in front of me there. There we go. I'm gonna use this as my mouse pad. Okie dokie. So for the KitchenAid bundle, 52 entries received from a total 150 available. Let's reset the random number generator before we start. One, two, 150, okie dokie. And let's do a quick scroll down that entry list so that everyone who's entered can uh, spot their names. Definitely recognizing a few names in here. Some big gaps, obviously we only sold a third of the tickets, just over a third of the tickets. So it may take us a while to find the winner on this one, but uh, we're not in a rush. We've got nowhere to be. So there's your 52 entries for the KitchenAid bundle. Remember, once we've finished all the drawers, this being the last one for the evening, I will give you a look at what we're gonna be launching tomorrow. So stick around, unless you do have somewhere to be. Just gonna have a quick look at the comments there. Laura likes the color. Samantha, personally, I don't mind the color. Keep things like that in a drawer, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Don't even think I knew what the colors were. Just wandered them. Yeah, fair enough, Susan. Oh, well, maybe we'll, uh, look, maybe, maybe, um, maybe we just need a bigger audience, who knows? But um, enough of me mumbling on about that let's do the draw and find out who won this bundle and uh, i can think about whether we do something similar again next time radio for the kitchenaid bundle winning entry is 33 33 is the winning entry big old gap in the entry list there and as you can see 33 does not have a name against it so we'll roll it again and see what number it coughs up this time. Number six. Number six for the random number gen from the random number generator for the KitchenAid bundle. Number six. Do we have a name? We do have a name. Uh, it's a regular winner. They enter all our drawers. They max out all their tickets, uh, and it pays dividends. Apparently, uh, B Smith from Asia with entry number six. Entry number six. Uh, yep, that's all confirmed. Get your details in there. Congratulations, you are the owner of this KitchenAid bundle. Um, don't think you've won something like this from us before, so this is definitely a, uh, a new addition to your collection. B. Smith from Ayrshire uh, with ticket number six. We actually have a couple of B. Smiths now, so if you're the other B. Smith and you're watching, um, yeah, this is the B. Smith in Ayrshire who's won. I uh, can't remember where the other B. Smith is in the country. But uh, congratulations to you. Um, yeah, you've won this KitchenAid bundle. Uh, something a bit new and a bit different. Let's get that out of the way. I'm gonna pop that down there. Uh, so it's not blocking the screen. Cool. Four winners. Uh, what is that? F three people who have won before and one first time winner. So nice little mix there of uh, people who keep coming back. 
um, and also people who are winning for the first time, which is awesome. A uh, few congratulations going on. Yeah, lovely stuff, guys. Uh, cool, let's, uh, let's change this because you don't need to be seeing the screen behind me quite as big anymore. Uh, yeah, so that's the four draws for this evening. Um, we do have three new draws that we're going to be launching tomorrow. Um, we are obviously approaching the end of the year, guys. Um, we're in December, Christmas is approaching. Uh, so we're going to have two more rounds of draws this year. So we've got the draws that we're launching tomorrow, three prizes. The week after that, we'll launch three more, and that'll be it for 2022. Um, so we're not going to, so yeah, the last draw that we are going to have live will actually be on Wednesday the 21st of December. Um, so usually it would have been Tuesday the 20th. Um, I'm going to a gig in London that night. Uh, obviously not going to be around to do the live draw. So I bumped the draw out by a day. So you have an extra day to enter. Um, and of course it means that we'll be doing the live draw on Wednesday the 21st as opposed to Tuesday 20th. So that will be the last draw um, that we have in 2022. We will launch new prizes on Thursday the 22nd of December, but it'll be two weeks until the draw. So the, the next draw after that will be January the 3rd. Just gonna take a break, take a week off. Gonna have lots of people around for Christmas. Gonna be eating, drinking, cooking, having a good time. Um, and I think everyone else will probably be um, pretty occupied with other things as well um, uh, in between Christmas and New Year. So yeah, three prizes launching tomorrow. Week after that, we'll have another probably three prizes, which will be drawn on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday the 21st of December. And then we'll um, have a bit of a longer period. And the next draw after that will be Tuesday the 3rd of January. Uh, that was everything I wanted to... Uh, read off my piece of paper there. Um, so yeah, what are those prizes that we're drawing tomorrow? Let's have a quick look. Actually, let's have a quick look at the comments from you guys first, because I see a few popping up. Bummer again. <laughs> Sorry, Debbie. Yeah, it is a bummer when you don't win. Absolutely. I entered a couple of uh, prize draws on, on other websites myself this week and didn't win either of them. I was hoping to win uh, a camper van, didn't. And I was hoping to win uh, a graphics card, uh, which I didn't. <laughs> so I know the feeling when you don't win. Susan can see the shirt now. Yeah, probably blinded by the shirt, Susan. Um, right, what are the prizes that we're launching tomorrow? Uh, the first one is this box. Um, it's actually a bakeware set. Um, so it's all still in its packaging. Um, I won't get it out. You'll be able to see the pictures of it on the website from tomorrow and on the social media, of course. Um, so this is uh, a Samuel Groves bakeware bundle. So every item in the bundle is anodized silver. Um, it's aluminium. Um, really tough. Only gets tougher the more you use it. Um, it's a nine piece bakeware set. So you get, you're going to have to trust me because it's in his packaging, uh, a square sponge tin, um, a fluted, fluted flan tin, uh, two one pound loaf tins. What's this one? Oh, no sticker. This one is a uh, pudding bowl. Uh, this one is uh, a two pound loaf tin. Uh, you then get a, uh, a circular sandwich tin with a, a loose bottom. Uh, everyone likes a loose bottom. Uh, then there's a baking sheet and there's also a baking tray in there. So, all from Samuel Groves, um, Birmingham based cookware company. Uh, nine piece bakeware bundle. Uh, really good quality stuff and uh, if you're looking to I guess refresh uh, your baking equipment that would be a really good place to start. Um, something we're doing a bit different with next week's draws we're only going to have a hundred tickets available for each prize so for the bakeware set 
100 tickets available. Um, we're selling tickets for that for three pounds each. So three pounds to enter and only 100 tickets available. Um, whereas usually at the moment we're running them with 150 tickets. So uh, yes, yeah, slightly, well, a third fewer entries available for next week's. Harriet Baker, we're perfect for Christmas. Yeah, I think it should arrive in time for Christmas, just um, perfect for any time of the year, in my opinion. Um, so that's uh, P. Smith, what a lucky duck. He is a very lucky duck. Uh, Google random number generator smiles upon him. Um, fluted flanton, try saying that when you've had a few. Flute, I can't even say it properly when I haven't had a few, or even one. Loose bottom good, soggy bottom bad. Exactly, Kelly. Don't forget your, uh, what are they called? The blind baking, baking beads? Um, anyway, we won't talk about beads and, and bottoms. Um, <laughs> let's move that box out of the way. So, that is prize number one that we're launching tomorrow. The Samuel Groves uh, Bakeware set, Bakeware bundle. Uh, draw number two, also 100 tickets available. Also three pounds to enter. And also, baking related, Uh, it is a bread maker, uh, a bread maker from Tower. Um, a recommended retail price, £250. Um, like I said, 100 tickets available, £3 to enter. Um, they call it a gluten-free bread maker. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it's got functionality so that if you're celiac or just want to make a gluten-free um, loaf of bread, you can with this particular machine. Um, it's got loads of pre-built pre in settings. It's got a seed and nut dispenser on the top that's timed to drop them in at the right time. Um, it's a pretty, you know, pretty slick um, looking bread maker. It'll look pretty good uh, in any kitchen. It's got a decent sized window in the top so you can see how the bake's coming along. Of course, it's got automatic timers built in so you can time it to start whenever you want or be ready when you're waking up to, you know, freshly baked bread. Um, so yeah, Digital bread maker from Tower, £250 recommended retail price, £3 to enter, and 100 tickets available. And yeah, if you win, you can be waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread every morning, which is awesome. I take my word for it. I haven't had it in a while, um, but I do know that waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread is awesome. Which leaves one final draw for tomorrow. You can probably guess how many tickets are going to be available for this one. Um, it's the first time that we've had a product from this brand, in fact. Uh, it is a Smeg espresso machine. Uh, a little bit different from the coffee machines that we usually do. Um, first of all, it's Smeg, a brand that we haven't done a draw for before. Second of all, it's not a bean to cup. Okay, so this one um, doesn't have somewhere to grind the beans for you. Um, so you either need to buy ground coffee or you need a separate grinder. You can get them pretty cheap. Um, Krups make good ones. I've got a Krups one myself. Works really well. I've had it for over 10 years now, I think, and it's still going strong. Um, yeah, but Smeg, classic kitchenware brand. Um, really aesthetic, nice quality products. Um, it is in this pastel blue color. Um, which hopefully doesn't put people off. I think it will still look pretty good in, in most people's kitchens. Uh, 100 tickets available, and we are selling those tickets for five pounds each. So five pounds to enter for the Smeg espresso machine. And hopefully that's quite popular, because I know that uh, usually the coffee machines we run, um, albeit bean to cups, are pretty popular. And I think that Smeg is a pretty popular brand. Um, Look, it's really easy to use. Um, it's obviously got the um, the porter filter, so you you get your grinds in there, whether you've ground them yourself or or you've bought pre-ground. Um, it's got settings so you can make singles or doubles. It's got a steam wand, so you can still you know you can make espressos, but you can also make cappuccinos, lattes with it. No worries. Um, it's got a water reservoir in the back, so it does most of the things that a bean to um, bean to cup would do, except of course grind those beans for you. Um, yeah, five pounds to enter and uh, 100 tickets available. I'm gonna take a quick look at the uh, at the comments because I'm curious to see what people think about this one. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, dun -dun -dun -dun. Got to scroll up quite a bit actually. Oh, hey there, Andy. Didn't see you slide into the comments. 
very quiet. You're usually uh, sticking your head out, cracking jokes, getting a few puns in there. Good to see you there, mate. Sandy's keen on the bread maker. Kelly, <laughs> smeg head. Yes, indeed. Smeg stuff is so pretty. I think so. I like the smeg stuff. Uh, I think they're, they're, you know, it's a, a retro look, uh, which I think a lot of people get on with. Just joined, what have I missed? Oh, Louise. Oh, you've missed four draws. You've missed three new draws that we're launching tomorrow. Um, sorry to say, if you entered any, um, you didn't win any this evening. Um, obviously, you can you can watch back, um, but you weren't the winner on any of our four draws this evening. I'm I'm sad to say. Uh, always wanted a Smeg fridge. Um, so this isn't a fridge, Susan. This is a an espresso machine. And I just want to be clear on that. Um, I'm not running a a draw for a Smeg fridge, um, which is small enough to fit on my desk. Um, <laughs> bread makers are the best, says Harriet. Smashy followed by a smeg coffee. That's a good point. If you win the bread maker and the uh, coffee machine, you will be having some lovely mornings. Laura loves the color. Sam thinks it's a gorgeous piece of kit. I want a full smeg 1950s styles kitchen. Uh, well, Christmas is coming, Kelly, so you never know. Maybe you'll get lucky. Color is awesome. Hey, Lisa, good to see you there. Thanks for jumping on. That's really weird. It says higher max, and then it says C translation underneath. So I don't know what higher means in, in whatever language Facebook thinks it's in. Um, but nice to see you there, Lisa. Hope you're having a good evening. Slid in unnoticed. You did, Andy. Still waiting to deck out my new kitchen with prizes. Keep waiting, Debbie. Hopefully your number's coming soon. That's what Jen said. Uh, right, that's all the comments. I've got through all the comments. Guys. Fun evening. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who entered. Thank you to everyone that uh, that joined us on the live stream. If you've jumped in and uh, watched the live stream late as a recording, thank you to you as well. Uh, sorry that we couldn't engage with you in person. Uh, yeah, three new prizes launching tomorrow, guys. They'll be up for a week. Then we have one more round of prizes for 2022, and then we're done for the year. Uh, and we'll crack on into 2023 and uh, do it all again with more of the same and new prizes and hopefully more prizes. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, lots to get through in the meantime. Thank you to everyone who did enter. Thank you to everyone who joined. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your evening and have an awesome week. And yeah, hopefully see most of you guys this time next week. Take care.